machines are, are pretty much the art in my house. Uh, everything's kind of neutral. Well, neutral colors. I didn't say it was normal, I said it was neutral. <laughs> This all started because I wanted to redo my home theater. Uh, it was never, never meant or planned to be kind of this over the top in the beginning. Started Googling uh, custom home theater stuff and got some ideas and decided to go with a Lord of the Rings theme, which nobody had really done from what I've seen. And it kind of evolved from there. Everything's uh, carved out of foam and then full painted after it's been sprayed with concrete. There, there's some pictures somewhere that were taken of me after, after spraying that. I think that just the whites of my eyes is the only thing that's left because I was constantly looking straight up at the ceiling while I was spraying it. And it took a while. It's a lot of work. I have no idea how many actual working hours. It's Calendar wise, it's probably a little over three years. Cave troll, one of those things, just sitting around and, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have a cave troll in there? A local artist helped me. Uh, she's a local uh, art teacher, and she helped me during the summer when she wasn't uh, teaching. That and the uh, dragon head coming out of the ceiling. The orc heads. You gotta have an orc army when you have a Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Buddy of mine had a friend that is a mask maker. I got in touch with him and bought every one he had um, just for decoration because you can't really buy anything of that quality. And these are pretty much custom. High school, we had the local arcade video games, not so much pinball back then, but as I got older, once I had a chance to start collecting the arcade games, naturally included some pinball machines as well. Uh, you go to auctions and garage sales and you always bring home something, even if it's something you didn't uh, necessarily go for originally. How many pinball games do I have? Do we really need to go there? <laughs> right now there is 26 set up and playing at the house. Uh, it, it may be some sort of disease, I'm not sure. It's just a collection. Uh, some people collect coins. I'm into collecting pinball machines. I like the hunt, finding the hard to find ones, getting them restored, bringing them back to new in some cases. It's a fun hobby for me, I enjoy it. Those solid state games are on the back wall for a reason and the room was kind of designed that way because the older games aren't as tall and it shut up over there. It allows me to have room for the screen to drop down on top of it. 244 inch screen, um, Martin Logan speakers, uh, JVC 4K projector, THX rated amp, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, what is this room missing? Uh, I wanted a popcorn machine, but there's no room for it. <laughs> so I'm stuck with the microwave. Um, other than that, there's always, there's always new decorations that can be added. I'm gonna add some more detail to the paint. I mean, the room's pretty much complete. So I've been adding stuff for, for three years, so there's always room for a little more, I guess. Nobody is flat out told me they hate it, but uh, most of it's been pretty positive. They think I'm crazy for one, but uh, I think I think most people like it. Does it matter if they like it? I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. That's, that's what it's for.